here. Welcome to today's workout. We are going to do five groups of four exercises. Each of the four exercises we will do two times, 40 seconds on in giant sets. So we're going to go bang, 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 and then have a rest and then bang, 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 and then have a rest. All right. We're going to start with a dynamic warm up. So feet nice and wide apart, just co whoop, coming from side to side, side to side. All right. Opening up through the hips. Bending those knees, keeping a proud chest so you're not bent over. Nice and up. Heart over, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And now arms out to the side, hands up and down, up and down. It's gonna be a quick little warm up today. If you need more, feel free to press pause and go do some extra dynamic warm up to get yourself ready. Great work. And three, two, one, awesome. We're gonna do some side steps. So bringing one foot towards the other and then coming through to the other side. For today's workout, you'll need a yoga mat, some water and some weights. If you don't have weights, um, any, any household items will do. Shampoo and conditioner work great. Uh, small bags of sugar if you want, whatever works. You might have to vacuum if you use small bags of sugar, I guess. Otherwise it'll feel like you're at the beach because there's sand everywhere. All right, and three, two, one. Awesome little pulsing squat. So sending those hips back and down. And as you come up, just an arm raise. Warming up through the shoulders, through the glutes, through the quads. Great work. And three, two, one. Great, now some marching here. Bringing your knee up towards your chest as comfortable as you can go. Today's workout is mainly strength, but we're just warming up our body before we get into it. Making sure we notice if we have any tight spots, um, anything that needs to be adjusted before we get into it. And three, two, one, awesome, and just some heel kicks before we get to it. Great work, and three, two, one. Our first exercise is a forward raise, um, so we're going to grab two weights. And we'll start in three, two, one up and down up and down if you're able bring a knee up and down and then opposite knee up and down as you go obviously alternating your knees <sighs> breathing out as your weight and your knee go up and in as you come down if you're finding this too much you can do one arm at a time Still focusing on breathing out as you go up, in as you come down, keeping your core engaged. Three, two, one, awesome. We're gonna flip those weights to the front, up and down. Remember it's bang, 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 bang. So you're already joining me in this hammer curl right here. <sighs> Trying to keep the elbows as steady as we're able to. <sighs> Great job. Fifteen more seconds. After this, we're going to lay down on our back, holding on to our weights yet. And three, two, one. Perfect. So we'll drop one weight, hold on to the other one. Back raise with the bicycle. So we're going to keep our shoulder blades off the ground and raise that weight above our head. Our arms are extended and our knees are coming towards our chest as we raise the weight. If you're finding this too much, you can let your legs settle and just do the upper half like this. If you're finding this isn't enough for you, you can absolutely grab that other weight and add it 
in as well. Three, two, one. Come into plank position with shoulder taps. So plank and just one shoulder and then the other. Trying to control that sway on your back end. Trying to keep a full straight line as we go. And now we're gonna take a little break after these four and then do them all again. Keeping your core zipped up and in as we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, let's take a sip of water. 20 seconds or so off here. And now back into that forward raise. Three, two, one. Here we go, up and down. And if you're able, that knee up and down at the same time. Remember all of the variations, if you're finding it too much, just the arms or even just one arm at a time. You can also vary the knee and the arm. So right arm, left leg, and then left arm, right leg. All right. 10 more seconds and then onto the bicep, the hammer curl. Five, four, three, two, one, bicep curl. Here we go. Breathing out as the weights come up, in as they go down. Soft bend in the knees. Your core is nice and tight. If you're gassing out, one arm at a time. And after this, we're gonna lay on our backs for that uh, back raise with a bicycle kick. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. One leg in, other leg in. Shoulder blades are off the mat and your chest is not attached to your chin here. Your chin has a little bit of a raise, like there's an orange or a tennis ball in between your chin and your chest. Your abs should be burning and your back should be feeling this. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Plank with shoulder taps. You can also do half plank if that's what you're feeling today, if that's where your body is at. Attempt to keep those hips nice and steady. Just about done round one. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, let's take a sip of water and we'll get on to round two. Let me some water. All right, we're gonna stand up and start with a chest fly. Then we've got a renegade pull, Russian twist and hollow hold. So we're gonna start with that chest fly. We're gonna do the goalpost version. Three, two, one. Arms out like goalposts, push those babies together and reopen. Breathing out as you push the weights together, in as they come apart. It's like there's a spring in between your arms and you're pushing so hard to get them close and then they just automatically open when you release. Breathing out as the weights go in. And then after this, we've got the renegade pull. So we're gonna hinge our hips straight back, pull the weights up to our rib cage. 
soft bend in the knees here. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, now real soft bend in the knees. Up to your ribs and down. Slow release. Up to your ribs, slow release, down. Up to your ribs, slow release, down. <sighs> Breathing out as the weights come up. In as they come down. <sighs> Ten more seconds, and then we're on to the Russian twist. And five, four, three, two, one. Russian twist, here we go. You can have your heels on the ground or off the ground. Uh, you can have your back up straight if that's what, what works for you. You can have your back tilted towards the ground. The big thing is to not have a big curve in your back. So you wanna have a nice proud chest here, open shoulders, heels on or off the ground, crossed or uncrossed. After this, we've got a hollow hold so we can drop the weights in three, two, one. Perfect, all right, coming out, legs up, bring them down and then shoulders up off the ground for a hollow hold, you can come out like a starfish version or tight in whatever works and if you find you're gassing out you can either bring one leg up and down other leg up and down which releases some of the pressure on your core or let your legs rest for a second before coming back up <sighs> try and keep those shoulder blades off the ground if you're able <sighs> five four three two one, perfect. All right, let's grab a sip of water and we'll do that all again. Okay, back to the chest fly. Three, two, one. Here we go, in and open. In and open. Breathing out as the weights go towards each other. Great job. Five, four, three, two, one, hinging at the hips for the renegade pull, up to your side, and slowly releasing down. Firm back here, up to the side, and releasing down. <sighs> Trying to keep a narrow grip, so elbows going up rather than out. Really squeezing those back muscles together at the top, and keeping your core tucked in. So that means bringing your abs towards your spine. And three, two, one, Russian twist. Hinging back if you're able, otherwise sitting up like this and just going side to side is also great. After this, we've got that hollow hold that everybody doesn't love. And then we're on to our second water break. And three, two, one. Perfect, all right. Here we go. So you can come down and release until you feel like you're in a good spot and then just hold or come up and down into a little bit of a swaying motion. You can add in those heel taps if you need. So many variations available to you today. <sighs> nice deep breaths. If you're shaking, don't feel bad. I am too. <sighs> 10 more seconds. <sighs> and.
And three, two, one. Awesome. All right, round two is done. Let's take a sip of water. Awesome. All right. Are you ready for round three? Round three has a sumo squat and then a horizontal chest press that so will come down to the ground to do that chest press up and down and then side plank with a lift on either side. We're gonna start with the sumo squat. You can use weights or no weights depending on where you're at today. Three, two, one. Wide stance coming down and up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Nice proud chest the whole time here. Shoulders are rolled back. If you have weights in your hands, it just increases your body weight, which makes your glutes and your quads look a little bit harder. At the bottom, you wanna make sure your knees are behind your toes so you can always see that big toe. Three, two, one. Laying down for the chest press. Coming up. Controlling down. Breathing out as you come up. Controlling the motion down. Great job. You can also extend your arms fully if you need a little bit more or do one arm at a time if you're finding that this is a little bit much for you. Three, two, one, side plank, side one. Onto your hand or your elbow, on your knees or your ankles and just coming through for the side plank with the lift. All right, so you can be on your knees like this. All right, and you can be on your elbow. Okay. Breathing out as you push that weight up towards the sky. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, second side. Trying to keep your full lower body nice and steady here. Working your obliques, your shoulders, your arm. Your arm that's chilling out at the bottom there because it's holding your whole upper body up. Three, two, one, awesome. All right, let's take a little sip of water. We're halfway done already, just so you know. All right, sumo squat round two. Here we go. Three, two, one, nice wide stance chest towards the front of the room, squeezing the glutes at the top, breathing out as you come up. <sighs> Great job. <sighs> 40 seconds goes by so quick, and then you've got like three seconds of turnover time. <sighs> so you might as well give it your all for that whole go, right? Right. <sighs> After this, we're gonna get into that chest press again. Three, two, one. Laying on our backs, pulling our abs towards the ground, bent knees, arms up to the sky. <sighs> Breathing out as we push those weights up, in as we come down.
After this, you've got the two side planks, and then we're done round three. Three, two, one, side plank one. Here we go with that lift. Now, if you're finding this too much, you can just come up and down, up and down. You've also got the option of being on your knees <clears throat> or being on your elbow or being on your knees and your elbow. Just holding the side plank if that's what works for you. Doing the motion without the weight. Today should be called variation day, my goodness. And three, two, one. Over to side two. Breathing out as that weight goes up. Great job. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Let's take a water break before we get into round four. Okay. Round four is going to be a reverse lunge. Uh, we'll do alternating sides both rounds and then a military press and then we're going to come down to the ground for wide-legged touches and skull crushers. Okie dokie smoky. Reverse lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one. With the reverse lunge you can hold weights or not hold weights. Uh, your goal is to step back as far as you are able to control and then come back up. You can just come to a little one like this, a little tiny lunge, all right, or you can come down to the full 90 degree angle version. You can hold your weights or drop your weights. Breathing out as you come up, in as you go down. Three, two, one. Military press, so straight up and down. The top of a bicep curl is your starting position. Soft bend in the knees. Strong core. Great work. After this, We've got to come down onto the ground. For wide-legged touches, we'll need one weight. Three, two, one. All right, so nice wide legs. Just in between, coming up. You're doing crunches here. Just seated crunches, all right? So your abs are what's working. As you lift that weight up and go side to side. Obviously, your arms and your shoulders will also feel this, depending on how heavy your weight is. If you're gassing out, you can drop the weight and continue on with the motion. <sighs> Breathing out as you come up. After this, we've got a scroll crusher. You can use one weight or two weights for that. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, bent knees, feet planted, elbows steady as our weight goes up to the sky and controls down. Up to the sky, controls down. In this one, you can have your weights like a barbell, so as though they're joined. You can have your pinkies towards each other, your thumbs towards each other, or you can hold your weights how I currently am, parallel to each other. <sighs> the main thing is that your elbows are trying to stay as steady as possible to make sure that your triceps are doing the work. Three, two, one. Awesome. If you need a quick sip of water, go for it. And then we're going to get into reverse lunge round two. Here 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, coming back and up, back and up. Breathing out as you come up, in as you come down. Taking that step as big and as low as feels right for you today. If you're finding you losing your balance, you can extend an arm out, which might help you offset, offset the weight going backwards. Three, two, one, military press. Here we go, up and down, up and down. Great work. Soft bend in the knees. At the top, you wanna to come to a soft bend in the elbows, still not fully extended as then you'd be putting extra weight into your elbows. Tight core. Three, two, one. Awesome. Wide-legged touches. Great job. Make this M shape as big as you feel you need to. You can do little ones like so, or big, huge ones like so. Capital M or lowercase m, perhaps. Then we're gonna do the skull crusher. And then we are done round four. Only one more round to go. Three, two, one. Awesome. Lay down for that skull crusher, holding the elbows steady. Weight going up and down. I don't know if you can see me on that side. Up and down. Breathing out as the weight goes up, really pulling your abs towards the ground here, planting those feet strong. Three, two, one. Awesome, we're done round four. One more round to go. My mat is slipping all over the place. There we go, perfect. Grab a sip of water. All right, the last round really focuses on core. So we've got plank, then we've got Superman, then we've got a dead bug, and then we've got a bird dog. All right, so we're gonna start with just holding a steady plank. Uh, you can add in the knee taps, you can do a half plank, uh, some variations there for you, depending on where you're at today. And then the Superman, dead bug, bird dog. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go, holding a plank. Okay, now if you find that this is too much on you, you can add in the little knee tap where you touch one knee to the ground and then the other. So that would just be like so. Okay, still keeping your full body in a nice straight line. Otherwise you can come down to a half plank, which is different than tabletop because tabletop your hips are up and your um, wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Whereas a half plank, your body is still elongated. So you're wrists are under your shoulders, but your hips are far from your knees. Three, two, one, Superman, here we go. Pelvic bone is touch, pushing into the ground. Everything else is lifting from the ground. Your glutes are squeezed, your shoulders are raised. And you've got some nice deep breaths going on. You can lower and lift, lower and lift. You can hold steady, or you could bring your elbows towards each other behind your back. And three, two, one. Rolling over for your dead bug. You can do a weighted dead bug or non-weighted. 
arms up, knees up, extend and bring back in, extend your other and bring back in. Left arm and right leg at once and right arm and left leg at once. Breathing out as you bring your limbs back towards center. Really pushing your abs towards the ground, which will make sure that your core is working here. Three, two, one. Awesome bird dog, here we go. Extend and down, extend and down. Keeping your core engaged here, never letting your back dip at any time. Breathing out as you crunch back in. Full control both ways. Three, two, one. Awesome. Quick sip of water and then we're on our last round of our last group of exercises. Then we've got a cool down. Just like that. All right, ready to hold that plank yet again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Into that plank mode. You can have a wide-legged plank or a narrow plank. You can be on your elbows or your wrists or your fists if your wrists are sore. All right. You've got your knee variation. Knee taps if you need them. Halfway through at 20 seconds. Three, two, one, flop down into that Superman. Push the pelvic bone into the ground as you raise your other limbs. Not saying your pelvic bone's a limb, as you raise all of your limbs. Keeping your neck elongated rather than cramped so there's no big turn in the back of your neck here. Maybe you're looking about a foot ahead of where your head will land when you rest it. We've got 10 more seconds. We can do this. And then we're on to the dead bug. Oh, weighted or not. Three, two, one. Here we go. Limbs up to the sky. Extend, return. Whoopsies. Extend, return. in full control at all times as you are lowering and raising. Three, two, one. Awesome. Bird dog. Here we go. Extend and release. Extend and release. Keeping that core engaged. Just about done. We got 15 more seconds and we're on to the cool down. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We did it. Good work. You're done. Awesome job. All right. Let's stand up. Arms behind the back, chest towards the sky. Rolling those shoulders back, looking up, stretching through the front shoulders, the front of the chest. You can lift your hands away from your, from your glutes. Not sure if you can hear my talented singers from the next room over. They're making bracelets and singing, having a good time. Three, two, 
to one. Widen that stance, feet pointed forward, left arm down, left leg, right arm folding over to stretch through your side. Three, two, one. Great work today. Three, two, one. Perfect, now we're gonna do a quad stretch. Grab a wall if you need it, bringing your knee nice and close towards your body. Um, so you're in a straight line. And then if you're able, you can push your hip bone just a little bit forward to elongate the stretch. If that's not what works for you today, that's cool. Three, two, one, other side. Proud chest while we do this still. No big C curve anywhere going on. And trying to keep a straight line through your mid line. <laughs> trying to keep your midline straight. There we go. Pushing the hip bone forward if you're able. And three, two, one. Perfect. All right, we're going to come into a forward fold. So just feet underneath your hips pointed forward and now rolling, not rolling, hinging at the hips, coming through, trying to keep your abs nice and tight. So you're actually um, not really doing much with your abs. Your abs are still uh, engaged as you fold down so that you're making sure that it's your hips that are hinging and that will help you be able to lengthen through your whole back body. Drop that head when you're ready. You can sway side to side or forward and back if that's what works for you. You wanna be feeling this through your hamstrings, your glutes, your, quad, uh, your calves. <sighs> nice deep breaths. And three, two, one. Perfect, coming back up. We're gonna to come to a seated position now, bringing one leg in nice and close, grabbing our foot with one hand, uh, feeling it through our thigh and our hamstring. You can have a big juicy bend in your knee if you need it, whatever works for you today. And now crossing over to bring your knee towards your chest and stretching out through your glute. And opposite side, bringing that foot in nice and close, stretching out towards your hamstring, getting your hamstring and inner thigh stretched out, grabbing your foot. And now bringing our knee towards our chest, hugging it close to stretch the glute. This will be our last stretch. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time. I hope to hear from you soon and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.